Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at Two Guns. Yes, starring Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg, and it basically tells the story of a DEA agent and a naval intelligence officer who are undercover trying to set up a drug cartel. Well, when things go awry, <laughs> they find themselves on the run from the drug cartel, and they don't realize at first that they are both undercover agents. You get that from the trailer. And they soon find themselves on the run, not only from the drug cartel, but from their own people. Two Guns, folks, is a tried and true buddy film like it was ripped out of the late 80s early 90s this is done in the same vein as lethal weapon and tango and cash and that's a good thing people have tried to do that in the last decade and haven't accomplished that as well as i think two guns does but what helps make it work is uh denzel washington and mark Wahlberg's chemistry these two just play off each other okay they're just having fun with these characters and that comes across the screen okay it never gets too dark uh there are some lower moments, but it does stay kind of in that mid-range, which is great. It's got a great balance of action and comedy and some serious moments as well, just like your tried and true buddy films of the late 80s, early 90s. So it really has that vibe and that formula. Now it is a little bit formulaic. You can kind of see how it plays out, but you don't care because the performances on screen are so entertaining, uh, you don't mind and it's fun to watch. And what's really fun to watch uh, was the other actors that are in this film. I didn't do a lot of digging for the cast. When I saw it, I'm just like, Two Guns, Denzel, Mark Wahlberg, sure, I'm there, action film. I didn't realize that Edward James Almas was going to be in this. He plays a great uh, Pappy Greco, and uh, that's the drug cartel kingpin. You've got uh, uh, Bill Paxton in here playing this kind of crazy role with Earl. Kind of crazy. He is crazy. This batshit crazy role. Loved his role in this film. This, this kind of psychotic agent guy. Oh, it was just, it was great to see him doing something other than just game over, man. Really fun to see him on the big screen again. I was like Bill Paxton, and great to see him in a role like this. And even Fred Ward, yes, Mr. Remo Williams himself makes an appearance. So as this film's going along, I'm going, that's Edward James Olds. That's Fred Ward. Oh, check it out, Bill Paxton. So that was even uh, some of the more enjoyment for myself. Uh... Two Guns, like I said, it's nothing groundbreaking, okay? You don't have a... It is rather formulaic and a little bit predictable. But everybody's having so much fun, and it's just a great script to see. And the fact that it's rated R, yes, a more mature action film, definitely is something that we've been missing from the film scene. Folks, if you like the Lethal Weapons, if you liked the Tango and Caches, if you like the old-school buddy films we've seen, uh, I definitely check out Two Guns on the big screen. Three and a half stubs for me. Just a lot of fun, pure enjoyment. The audience, we all laughed when we were supposed to, and there's some great action sequences and just some good times. And that about do it for us here at the final cut. Until next time, keep that. Tuned.